Hi, I'm Mathilde. I'm principal dancer with San Francisco Ballet. Uh, I started ballet because I had a bad back and I needed to, to have muscles and things like that. So, yeah, at the beginning it was really painful and I didn't really like it. it was, I was more sports than ballet and then it became a passion. I started ballet in south of France and then I, I went to Patrick Armand's mother school, Colette Armand, and she was an amazing teacher. And then she said to me, uh, you have to go to Paris Opera School because I didn't want, I, I wanted to stay with her and continue ballet in Marseille. I was, it was sunny and it was really great. And she said, no, 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 you have to go to Paris Opera. And, uh, so it's, I don't know, because of her, um, I was able to go to Paris Opera School first and then to join the Paris Opera Ballet. I joined the San Francisco Ballet last year and I will start my second season. Uh, last season with San Francisco Ballet, I did my first Giselle, so it was um, huge for me. <laughs> and so I was really happy to do my beginning in this role. Uh, it's a dream role for every ballerina, so you're never ha totally happy when you finish your, your show. So. I don't know if I will be happy one day of my Giselle. I think it's still a work in progress. And then Caprice, uh, the new creation of Elgie Thomason, was my favorite thing in last season because uh, I'm not used to creating classical ballet with the choreographer in the studio. All the classical ballet I did before was from, were from Nureyev, and so obviously Nureyev is not here anymore. Dancing Caprice this year makes me feel like classical ballet is still alive. The Shostakovich trilogy was also amazing because I think it was my first dramatic role. It was hard at the beginning to, well, I didn't know even how to, which face should I, should I have? And Alexi made me understand that you don't need to interpret uh, just moving in music and is enough to interpret a tragedy, even something really dramatic like that. When I'm not dancing, I really, really like photography. So I'm, I'm a social media person. So, <laughs> so actually, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter take me a, a lot of time. <laughs> so yeah, I, I try to go to the museum. I was to go a lot to museum in Paris to um, inspire me because I think it's really helpful for ballet to look at those beautiful paintings. Um, the Renaissance uh, period is really helpful for Giselle, for La Sylphide, for the way you, your face can take the light and everything. What I love about ballet is ballet makes me joyful, really. Each time I go on stage, I feel joyful. So I think this is really important for me. It's, it's almost something spiritual. Of course I have other interests outside of ballet, but when I really think about the only thing I like is ballet. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs>